Good day, everyone. This is Uglo Fashion, and you're welcome to my channel. So today we are learning how to make this petticoat with four steps and with a rope. So if you gain anything from this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel for more. Please like and share my videos. Thank you very much. So after shifting it to the back, I will remeasure. So I have 12 here. So I will go around with these 12 inches just to get the hip measurements. 12 inches. So I need 42. Now I have my 42 inches. 10.5. You know, um, 42. I'm going to divide it into 4. And I folded this into 4 already. So it's 10.5. So the next thing is to get my circle at the down part as well. So I'll put my, I'll place my taper at the peak of this, at the edge. Then I have 51 here. So I'll go around with that 51 inches. Just like I'm cutting normal flay, 51 inches. So I'll cut everything out. So now I want you to have just four steps. The steps are going to be four. So I have 39 here. And the last one I'll just pipe it. There's not going to be any boning down there. So I'm making use of nine inches, nine here. Nine here. another nine here so these are the places i'm going to fix in my bony so i will now chuck it around so that when i'm sewing i won't make mistake so i'm going around with the nine inches please use it use the chalk that will really show on it so that you know it's net can easily fade away. So I'm done chopping everything out. So the next thing I will do now is I'll cut 1.5 inches out of my lining. The length will be 1.5 body. The breadth, I mean the breadth, the width will be 1.5 board. I'm going to use the circumference I have here for my lining. So one, let me just measure here. This one, this year, year is 33. So that 33 will be times 4. So I'm cutting 33 in 4 places. And I'll measure the circumference I have here too. I will multiply it by 4. Also here. But the width will be well, 1.5 inches. Now, 
this is the 1.5 inches I mentioned earlier. So I'll, I want to stitch it on this chalk part. So I'm starting from, from this place. You see that I did not start from the edge. That's because I'm still going to join this part together. I'm going to join it to the other side. Then I'm still going to join this to the one that is coming from the other side as well. When I want to do that side, I will show you. So now I'm going to leave half inch, just the way I did for the other side. So I will end my stitch here. You can see I left excess of the lining. So now, so now I'm going to fold it again. So I'll start from here. So for this down part, I've, I've done the three steps. So for this last one, I'm going to
So after after my stitches, I will now stitch this edge together. So I will ensure this. I did not stitch the lining alongside. So because the neck is very hard and the edge is sharp, so I will fold it inside again and stitch. Please ensure you are not sewing the lining. So after sewing everything together, I fix in my bony. Then I will lock up this. I will use my my needle and my thread to do the finishing from here. So you can see, even without placing it on mannequin, it's standing on its own. So I will use rope for this side now. Then I will place it on my mannequin so you can view it very well. So for the rope, I, I'm making use of. I still maintain the 1.5 inches I use for others. Then I'll fold it this way. So 1.5 inches by 60. So it depends on how long you want it to be, but you don't really need too much rope for it. To fix the rope, I'm going to make use of my pin, my safety pin. For this spectacle, I'm using this ad net for heat, then bony, and I'm using my lining, my upper lining for the folding. So, the first thing I'll do is I'll fold this ad net into two. Then, after folding, I'll pick this joint part this other side to this edge okay. and the measurement I want to use is 39 inches because I want it to, to get to the ankle of my client. So I'm using 39 inches. Then for the for the, uh, the band, I want it to be very full. So the waist of my client is 28. But because I'm going to use rope, you can use rope or rubber for the waist, for the waistline. So this is where I'm using for the waistline. So I want it to be very full. So you can add like the 28, you can add like four or five inches to it. Or you can make use of your client's hip measurement. If you have the hip measurement, you can use it for the waist. So so as to give it free access to enter while wearing it. So now if I'm to use my client's uh, hip measurement, the hip measurement is 42. So now let me use 42 for here because it's going to make I'm going to make use of rope, not rubber. But you can use rubber, either of two. So I will start from this side. 
let me shift it down so i'll start from this side this is 16 inches i'll go around with the 16 inches So, like I said, I'm making use of 42. So it's too big. I'll have to shift it to the back a bit. So initially, I intended doing three steps, but when I noticed that the distance between the down, the last, the taped one, and the top one is very much, so I had to add another one to it. So it to make four steps. 